This afternoon we are following up on a story we brought you 14 years ago. A six year old in Yadkin County had fallen off of a tractor, got cut up by the blades and then survived. Now, all of these years later, she wants to help others. A big wheel went over me, it pulled me in. Jessie Keaton still remembers every moment of what happened when she fell off her dad's tractor in Yadkin County. You might remember it too when she looked like this. The tractor, it called it um, part of the flip flop and pulled me back. WXAI interviewed Keaton just days after the accident. She was just six years old. Got chopped in my hand a little bit. Mm -hmm. And I didn't feel it. Now at 20, she still deals with the consequences of that day. I had my leg amputated like right above the knee. Parts of her missing. The blade went to the back of my skull. Scars remain. The doctor said that if it went an inch more either way, I would have died instantly. Keaton was called the miracle girl, but for a long time, the injuries weighed on her, especially on the anniversary of the accident. When I think of July 1st, Irwin, I would imagine, you know, my accident happening, like just like the PTSD thoughts. It'll be with me pretty much for the rest of my life. It's just how I go about coping. A couple of years ago, she found a new way to cope, organizing a blood drive at a local church. They need blood. I almost died from lack of blood, and I was like, well, that's a good way for me to give back. July 1st now, it's like it gives me something to look forward to, a way to give back, and I, it's like it means a lot to my heart. And she's continuing to do that in her career path, too, planning on doing a pre-med track at App State this fall. Because I thought it would be really cool to work at the same place where my accident where they helped me. At Brenner's? Yeah. Keaton also uses the accident to advocate for tractor safety. Here in Yakin County, it's very common to put children on tractors. But I think this is something that needs to be educated on because it can happen to anyone because nobody knew it was going to happen to me. She hopes the little six-year-old you met back in 2008 inspires you to donate blood and to help others. And she has one last message that she says is 14 years overdue. I'd really like to, to thank everybody that actually helped me out on July 1st of 2008. There's so many people a part of a team, and when you're six years old, it's like all a blur. They were, they were really a part of saving my life, and they will always have a special place in my heart. And her next blood drive is this Friday, July 1st, the anniversary of her accident it's from 1 to 5.30 p.m. at Clyde Church in Yadkinville. Keaton says there are still slots available. You can sign up right now at redcrossblood.org.